I am going to explain about uh, heat resistance for the given transistor, MOS metal oxide semiconductor transistor. So we know that uh, the symbol for MOS transistor is uh, this is it is having uh, three terminals source, gate, drain. This is the symbol source, gate, drain. And the symbol MOS cleared symbol we can see this poly over N diffusion. N diffusion is green color. So and poly is red color, of course. Poly over. I am assuming this is the poly. Poly. Poly is a red color. Poly. And this is the green color. I will take the green. Green. So this is an N diffusion symbol. Green box is contains right side lines. So this is the green and this is the poly. So for this, uh, this is the symbol for mass layout and this is a normal symbol. So of course it is acted as a transistor, acted as a switch. So it is used to store the data, everything. So those are the applications of the transistor as you know that. So but internally it is having some resistance. So that is called as sheet resistance. This function we know that while giving uh, the small signal it amplifies the given input signal. So while giving the small signal, so while giving the signal it amplifies the signal. So that is uh, the function of the amplifier. Of course we know that, we know that. But internally it is having some resistance that is uh, called as sheet resistance. Even though if you consider an wire, so I am assuming an wire, wire if you take if we take wire, I am assuming this is an wire, of course wire is blue color. So just I am assuming this is wire, it, it is also internally having some resistance. So that is called as sheet resistance. So what is for the given transistor, what is an internal resistance, even though the transistor uh, is having internally capacitance. So that is uh, called uh, the sheet resistance. So for that if you consider this sheet, the transistor sheet or anything if you consider, so this is an uh, length for the sheet and this is an width for the sheet. Here A is the area and uh, uh, this thickness that is resistivity rho. Therefore is uh, saying that uh, the sheet resistance between A, this is A and this, this point to this point, point B. So is equal denoted with R A B is equal rho by T resistivity by thickness of the oxide. T means how much thickness is there for a transistor. Rho by T into length by width. Rho by T into length by width. So this is an uh, resistivity for the given square, square meter. So here uh, rho by T, rho is the resistivity and T is the thickness of the oxide is assuming. So here this is uh, if you consider rho by T is the standard resistance RS. So then length by width of the transistor. So therefore the total resistance RAB can be written as standard resistance into length by width. Per a square meter uh, they are already Calculated, you can see this. This is an rho by T is the standard resistance for ohm per square meter. So these are the standard resistance values for the given MOS transistors, MOS layers. Here for N MOS transistor, if it is uh, 5 micrometer design rules, we know that different design rules are there in to design the circuit in VLSI, to design the chips, 5 micrometer design rules and 2 micrometer design rules or else orbit design rules, one more is 1.2 micrometer design rules. If it is 5 micrometer design rule, what is the transistor in resistance, NMOS transistor that too. NMOS transistor resistance is 10 power 4 ohms. If it is uh, 2 micrometer design rules, what is uh, the, these are the standard uh, resistance values internally it is having. So 2 into 10 power 4 ohms and here also 
for 1.2 micrometer design rules what is an n n mos transistor internal resistance internal resistance 2 into 10 power 4 ohms like that if you consider the metal you can see the 0 0.03 ohms only for p mos transistor again it is default 2.5 into 10 power 4 ohms internally so the transistor p mos transistor is having internally this is the symbol for mass cloud so poly over p diffusion so internally it is having again that is 2.5 into 10 power 4 ohms and here also 4.2 for 2 micrometer design rules or orbit design rules that is 4.5 into 10 power 4 ohms and similarly this is also same thing 4.5 into 10 power 4 ohms so you should remember this then only we can uh, calculate easily the given sheet resistance or else capacitance for NMOS transistor that is 10 power 4 ohms uh, for 5 micrometer design rules and of orbit or else 2 micrometer design rules it is 2 into 10 power 4 2 into 10 power 4 here also 2.5 into 10 power 4 for PMOS transistor NMOS transistor internal resistance is 4.5 into 10 power 4 and 1.2 micrometer design rules uh, 4.5 into 10 power 4 ohms. For example, if you consider this, this is the transistor symbol. We can say this is the transistor poly. This is an poly, poly over poly over N diffusion. This is an N diffusion. So this is an NMOS transistor symbol. So this is the length 8 lambda and 2 lambda is the width. So we know that the formula, therefore uh, the array B the resistance between two points is equal to standard resistance Rs into length by width. Length by width. So for NMOS transistor, the internal standard resistance we have seen that 10 power 4 ohms. In the diagram, you can see this. For NMOS transistor, it is having internal resistance 10 power 4 ohms. 10 power 4 ohms internally while fabricated so the internally it is having 10 power 4 ohms resistance multiplied with length 8 lambda here lambda is a parameter we can assume it is uh, meters micrometers like that we can assume uh, length by length by width width is that is 2 lambda width is 2 lambda so therefore it will cancel 4 times so therefore 10 power 4 multiplied with that is 4 times so we can write it as 40 kilo ohm this can be written as 10 cube means kilo ohm 10 kilo ohms therefore for the given transistor so internally it is having 40 kilo ohm resistance so like this we can calculate 40 kilo ohm. this is transistor of course the universal symbol, the normal symbol is that is this is the symbol for transistors, source, gate, and drain. So this is the symbol for mass cloud. So like this, we can calculate uh, the resistance values. So this is the question so many times they are asked in uh, university exams. So for the given uh, N mass inverter and uh, P mass inverters, so what is an internal resistance? I will calculate here. So the formula we know that formula so therefore the resistance rab is equal to point is equal standard resistance multiplied with length by width standard resistance by length by width i will go here this internal transistor resistance the standard this is nmos this is nmos transistor and this is also nmos this is also nmos transistor this is what you are coming to here this is PMOS transistor and this is NMOS transistor, NMOS. So here, uh, therefore, uh, the resistance RAB is, can be written as here, that is resistivity or a standard resistance, we know that NMOS transistor is having 4 into, not 4, and uh, yes, 4, 4, 10 power 4 ohms, 10 power 4 ohms. So 10 power 4 ohms is the standard resistance. Ten power four ohms is the standard resistance. Length. Length is here 8 lambda. 
8 lambda by width is 2 lambda. So therefore it will cancel it 4 times. So this is equal 4 into 10 power 4 ohms that is 40 kilo ohms. 40 kilo ohms. So this, this transistor T1 transistor is having 40 kilo ohm resistance and coming to here uh, we need to calculate the resistance again. Again RAB equal formula RAB is equal resistance between A and B. N mass transistor internal resistance from the table 10 power 4 ohms. Length by width 2 by 2 lambda. 2 lambda by 2 lambda. Lambda lambda cancel. So we can write it as 10 into 10 cube. So therefore this is equal 10 kilo ohms. 10 kilo ohms. So this is an important uh, for this unit. Uh, they will ask for the given circuit what is an internal resistance. Calculate the internal resistance. Therefore both are in series the transistor. Therefore the total resistance total resistance is equal resistance R is equal 40 kilo ohm plus 10 kilo ohm 10 kilo ohm so total it is 50 kilo ohms 50 kilo ohms so like this we can calculate uh, the internal resistance for the given circuit here it is having 40 kilo ohm resistance here this transistor is having 10 kilo ohm resistance mm -hmm. so both are that both are both are equal to 50 kilo ohms. So next, next one you can see this this side here. So for CMOS inverter, what is an internal resistance? 4, 4 and 10, 10. So CMOS inverter is there. CMOS inverter in the above circuit. This is a, they are given the CMOS inverter. So one is the NMOS, this is NMOS, and this is PMOS. Sorry, CMOS. PMOS complement, and this is an NMOS. NMOS. So this is supply VDD, VDD, and this is ground ground across this we need to take an output this is an V in here so this is an P MOS and N MOS so what is an internal resistance for the circuit so I will go with this resistance so that is ZAB resistance between or else 2 AB or AB equal resistance between A and B equal standard resistance multiplied with length by width so they are given here 4 is to 4 lambda to 4 lambda and here uh, they are uh, 2 lambda to 2 lambda they are given in the example you can see this 4 lambda 4 lambda and 2 lambda 2 lambda and coming to here you can see this are a standard resistance for the PMOS PMOS is 2.5 into 10 power internal resistance so if it is PMOS transistor so 2.5 into 10 power 4 ohms in the table you can see this this is the PMOS transistor PMOS transistor resistance 2.5 into 10 power 4 ohms for PMOS transistor. So that's why here 2.5 into 10 power 4 ohms that is 4 by 4. 4 by 4 cancel 10 power 4 means into 10 we can write it that is 25 kilo ohms we can write it. So this is pull up transistor PMOS transistor internal resistance is 25 kilo ohms 25 kilo ohms coming to the down transistor I need to calculate so therefore again RAB is equal RAB equal standard resistance into length by width length by width so standard resistance for NMOS we know that already we are calculated 10 power 4 ohms multiplied with 2 by 2 2 lambda by 2 lambda cancel next 10 10 power 4 means 10 into 10 cube we can write it so therefore 10 kilo ohms 10 kilo ohms so pull up transistor we know that pull down transistor we know that therefore the total resistance because those are in series here resistance path so therefore the total resistance can be written as total resistance total resistance uh, total resistance equal that is uh, 25 kilo ohms plus and 10 kilo ohms so therefore this is equal 35 kilo ohms 
So like this we need to calculate uh, the transistor uh, sheet resistance for the given transistor. We should know about NMOS transistor internal resistance and PMOS transistor internal resistance for 5 micrometer. For 5 micrometer only it is 10 power 4, 2.5 into 10 power 4. So if it is, if we, if we are mentioned 1.2 micrometer, so therefore the standard resistance value is 2 into 10 power 4 ohm. Not 10 power 4 ohm, 2 into 10 power 4 ohms. Like that we can calculate uh, the seat resistance. If you have any valuable suggestions, please send. Thank you.